If you've seen some of my recent brewing footage videos, as well as watched any of the live brewing that I've been doing recently, you will probably have seen that I was taking gravity measurements with my phone and a little white box. And that box is actually the Anton Parr Easy Den. Uh, I've had it for a little while and I've been using it here and there. So I wanted to kind of give you my initial thoughts and impressions on the Anton Parr Easy Dens. Full disclosure, as with all my videos, Anton Parr did send me the device to do the review on and use it and test it and see what I thought about it. So let's jump into like kind of what it is and what it does and uh, some of the specifications of it and everything. So it is actually a digital hydrometer is what they call it. Uh, the Easy Dens kind of stands for Easy Density Meter. And that's what it does, it measures density, much like a hydrometer does. As the liquid becomes more dense with more sugar content, the hydrometer will float higher and higher. So and that's how you get your reading with that. Um, it is not a one trick pony. So there'll be a couple other things I'll explain as we go along, but um, it does more than just measure density of liquid. So the accuracy of the unit is actually 0 .001 uh, on the specific gravity scale. So it's, it's highly accurate. And the temperature range, it does have a couple of different modes where it will auto calibrate for the temperature and then it has some where it does not. Uh, there's like four, I think there's four different modes for measuring gravity. Uh, there's Plato, there is specific gravity, and then there's specific gravity that the specific gravity non temperature adjusted, and then there's specific gravity that is temperature adjusted, and then there's also bricks on it. So I mean it's got a bunch of different measurements. There's also a quick measurement, which is what I've been using for the most part. And then there's also a continuous measurement, so it will continue to measure whatever liquid is flowing through it until you tell it to stop. So that's kind of a cool thing. I don't know how I would incorporate it into a brew day, but I could see maybe having like a small T or something like that off of the feed, off of the, the hose that's going into your kettle as you're doing like a fly sparging. And then watching to see as it gets close to like 1.010 or something like that. Um, as I said, it does have an app. Uh, it's available for Android or iPhone, the iOS. No, you know, no issue with getting the app installed. I did have a little bit of an issue getting it to connect to my phone initially. And so then I started using my tablet. But ever since, since the initial pairing and trying to get it to to hook up and everything and having an issue. I haven't had any issues since then. So one of the really cool things about it is the size of sample that you need to take a, take a reading. Uh, basically, you just need a two milliliter sample. And I mean, that's very, very small. Um, in my use, what I've done is taken a sample of either fermented beer or, you know, uh, hot wort or whatever it is, and just put it in a small dish in, a, in some ice and then cool it down and then take my reading. With regard to temperature range, uh, I, I don't know what the bottom range is. I can't remember exactly, but I know that the top range is 86 degrees. So it will auto temperature correct up to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And so, I mean, that's pretty nice. You know, you, can, you don't have to cool everything down to like 60 degrees in order for it to take a reading that is, you know, temperature adjusted. One of the things that you do need to know on this is like if you're doing pressure fermentation, much like using a hydrometer, you do need to degas the liquid. And I actually showed a method for doing that in a recent how to use a hydrometer video where I put a coffee filter into a funnel. I'll link in the description that video so maybe you can go and check out how to degas beers. But I've used this thing for, you know, like I said, wort. I've used it for fermented beer. I've actually pulled a sample right off of the tap on my kegerator just to see, you know, how it would do. Degas and it worked absolutely awesome. The other thing that's kind of cool about the app is that it allows you to track your batches. And when you do that, like let's say if you go through a whole brew day and you take several measurements as you're going through the mash and then you take you know your, your starting gravity measurement and you don't create a batch in the app, you can actually go back and create a uh, batch in the app and then add if you didn't track your starting gravity, which in the case of what I'm showing here, I had a stout that I brewed before I got the unit. So I was actually able to create a stout batch profile in there and then add manually the original gravity for it. And then when I took a reading for the final gravity with the Anton Parr Easy Dens, I was able to actually select the reading that I took and then that actually put in 
the final gravity measurement in there and gave me my ABV, gave me my attenuation and all that stuff. So the app is pretty cool in that aspect that it will track everything. The only thing I will say that I would like to see with the app is maybe some kind of cloud connectivity because if I take a measurement on my phone and then I take a measurement with my tablet, um, the two of those recipe or two of those batch, batch the batches don't sync up. Now, as far as other functions that this thing will do, it will do like a sugar content like bricks, like I said a minute ago. Um, it will also do ABV. So for those of you that make essential oils, um, <laughs> you can actually use this kind of as a proof and trail hydrometer, I think. I mean, I, I'm, you know, I, I'm not an expertise expert in that, but what I did do is I tested it out to see if it would give me an ABV on a spirit. I use just like a cheap vodka and ran it through there. And according to the label on the vodka, it says that it's supposed to be 40% alcohol. And as you can see, it came back, I think was 39.4 was the highest reading. Now, I don't know what the, vari what the variables or the allowable variation is on alcohol like that as far as, you know, the label goes. But I have a feeling that, you know, 39.4 might be right because, you know, manufacturers may be a little bit low on the alcohol content. I don't know what the, uh, what the, uh, the parameters are for um, it. As far as taking a sample goes, it's super simple. You just take the sample in the syringe, put the outlet hose into like another container, and then start your measurement by hitting the start measurement on the app on your phone or tablet or whatever. And then as you, while it starts to read, you actually just, you very slowly, very slight pressure on the syringe and push the sample through the easy dens. And then it takes a reading as it's going through. Now, some people, when I was using it, were saying that, you know, they don't use it by pushing the, the sample through. They just let it sit in there. I suppose you can do that. But according to the manual, what I saw, it says it has like a little turtle on the plunger. So I'm taking that for pushing it through very slowly. And then you'll get your reading if you're doing the continuous reading. Obviously, it'll, it'll continue to read it as you go. But if you're doing the quick reading, then it will go completely around the circle. And then once you get to the end of the circle, then it gives you your reading, tells you your temperature, tells you your specific gravity and all that. Um, and then as far as cleaning units, really simple. Um, I keep some distilled water on hand for that. I'll just pull like 10 milliliters of, of uh, distilled water, push the distilled water through the easy dens. And then what I'll do also is I'll take the syringe, I'll pull air into it and then just like blow all of the liquid out of the, the easy dens device. And, you know, it's super easy to clean. Um, it's been really accurate in my, you know, uses so far. I got to be honest with you, you know, I was a little skeptical about the device when I first saw it online and I thought, man, that's awfully expensive. But I got to say, it's really, really cool. I mean, it, it is a really cool device. The only other thing I, I wish maybe that it might have would be like a desktop app where it might be able to interface with Brewfather or something like that through that Bluetooth connection. So I don't know if they're planning on having like a desktop app for it, but as far as I know right now, they only have the Android and iOS apps for it. But my initial thoughts on the thing are it's, it's pretty darn cool and, it, and it's really useful. I've had, you know, I've taken more gravity measurements probably than ever. I mean, I've been doing it with this device just to test it, but I've been taking a lot of gravity measurements just because it's so easy to take them and so easy to clean it and everything like that. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. Um, you know, I'm going to do some more testing with it. I'd like to compare it with some other devices, hydrometers. I've got a ice spindle that I just got in from the UK. So I'm going to try that. I might buy a tilt hydrometer and see how all that stuff compares. But, you know, I, so far, so good on the device. Obviously, it's up to you if you want to make that jump to purchase something of that expense. But I got to be honest with you, if they hadn't sent it to me, I've been kind of eyeing it anyway. So I may have gone ahead and purchased it, to be honest with you. So this has been Brian for Short Circuit Brewers. See you on the next video.